Hey there guys, welcome back to Stardew Valley. As you can see, it's uh, it's an extremely rainy day today. Which means we don't have to water any crops, but I don't think we did anyway. Uh, it's also an extremely unlucky day, so um, I basically spent the whole morning doing farm work. We got a lot more star fruits, we got a lot more blueberries, uh, we got a lot more red cabbages. And I guess I can show you guys what I've been working on. I lay down a couple more chests. Uh, I decided one of these is going to be the fruit storage chest, which is this one. And this one is going to be the vegetable storage chest. This is the flower storage, as you already know, because we already had that a while ago. Um, hmm. The rest of this stuff, I guess, isn't really news to you guys. Uh, what I mainly spent the morning doing was setting up these bars and stuff, and uh, seeing the animals and stuff like that. So nothing too exciting, that's why I didn't record it. But we do now have four iridium bars, three of which I think I'm going to spend on iridium sprinklers, so just need a few battery packs, which we have absolutely loads of, so that's fine. And what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to set them up ready for next season, so that we can, uh... <laughs> if you thought we were rich now, we're about to get even more rich, it's going to be crazy. We're going to, we're just going to be absolutely made of money next season. We're going to be planting something like... Something like 125 cranberry seeds, so that's going to result in a lot of money coming in. And we kind of need to just figure something out to just kind of spend our money on. I'm not entirely sure what I should go for. I was considering today spending some money on crab pots from Willy, um, rather than wasting my copper bars on them. But I don't really know if that's worth it. I think it's it might actually be better value for money just to buy a load of copper ore from Clint and make all the bars myself, I think. But yeah, so I'm not really sure about that just yet. But today is not really going to be a very important day, it's uh, it's raining, it's bad luck, and yeah, there's not much to do, there's not much to do, it's kind of pointless trying to do anything at all, in a way. Uh, I was looking for something, what was I looking for? Iridium sprinkler? I've already done that. Stone floor, that's what I was looking for, so, gravel path, that's what it's called. Three of those, just to stop our, uh, our things from being dug up by the, uh, dug up by the hoe. Just need to do them adjacent. Whoops, that's wrong. Just need to do them adjacent to the ones that we already have, so I think that's the right place there. And finally, there, as it looks like we might actually need one more. Okay, so, um. Mm, yeah, okay, we'll make one more. I wasn't going to, but I, I didn't realize how many quality, uh, iridium sprinklers we already had laid down, so. I feel like we might as well do that. Fourth one. Alright, so one of the things I was considering doing today is now out of the question, which was make, uh, buying a slime hutch, but um, I don't know where to put that anyway, because the slime hutch is by far the biggest building in the game uh, that you can put on your farm so far. So, it's kind of hard to know where to actually put that on the farm, because it's, it's a little bit unsightly in a way. I was thinking of decorating it to make it look slightly nicer, but for the most part it's a bit unsightly, so it's kind of hard to tell where exactly that would fit in. Um, what was I looking for? One more gravel path. So, it's 4.40pm, uh, okay, I was thinking of going to Robin's today, but I guess that's now out of the question, which is okay, it's not a big deal. Right, so we put that one there, and we'll lay down the sprinklers, and I think this is it, I think this is really the point of the game, where income just starts running away, and uh, you can no longer spend as much money as you have. Which is pretty much the point of the game that many people reached a long time ago. Obviously it took me a long while to get here myself, just because I am playing uh, as a YouTube playthrough. Which means I can only play really for about four in-game days per day, like real life day. Unless I want to sit here binging it and talking for like three hours straight, which usually I don't, because that's a little bit exhausting. Um, we can make a lot of recipes, and I think... I think cooking in general is going to be a bit of a priority for a while now, just because it's... My, my goal for this playthrough, if you don't already know, is to try and get as many achievements as humanly possible. So, we have quite a few left. I just... One of the main ones that's going to be difficult to get is Craftmaster, and the other one that's going to be really difficult to get is Gourmet Chef. And the other one that's going to be really difficult to get is a complete collection. So, uh, yeah, all of that stuff's going to be pretty difficult. Obviously not really going to be able to do Jojo Court Member of the Year, but I might do that in a, in a future thing. I don't know. Um, Protector of the Valley is reasonably difficult, but not too difficult, not really on the same level as the three I just mentioned. But yeah, these three are going to be really difficult, Gourmet Chef in particular, 
Uh, we need to find all the recipes in order to do that successfully, which is going to be slightly difficult. But I think just kind of living living by the stove is going to be a good idea for a while. We do have a lot of morals right now, so um, I'm going to make a bunch of fried mushrooms, which are going to be more useful than the roots platters in the uh, in the skull covens, just because the roots platter doesn't actually work, so it's not really worth hanging on to. Uh, I can make an omelette. I think I've already made one of those before, though. Um, I, oh, it turns out that we do have salmons already stored over from the previous year, so we can actually could have actually made Alex his love gift the whole time on his birthday, which I now know. Uh, what stuff haven't we made? I don't think we made pumpkin pie yet. We don't really need it right now. Artichoke dip. I'm not sure about that one. Um, anything that we haven't already made, we should make it basically. Red plate. I don't think we have radishes. Or do we? Yes we do, okay. Alright, let's make some red plate. Where is it? Something I'm considering doing today, or was considering doing today, was uh, decorating the greenhouse a bit, but since we've already used up all of our iridium and can't lay down another iridium sprinkler in there, I think what I'm going to do instead is possibly decorate the house. I can't do that today, um, so I need to think of something to do for the rest of this in-game day. Which might just be to go to the mines, to be honest, just to kill a few more of the dust sprites. That is, uh, still a big goal. Coleslaw. Yeah, let's make some of that. And... Red plate, wherever that is. Yeah. Plus 50 max energy, 240 energy, 96 health. Wow. That's really strong. Okay, we'll definitely get some of that. Let's get five of those. And anything else that's new? I don't think there is, so we'll drop the radishes and the... Red cabbages back in there. This is now going to be our cooking storage, so let's just imagine it's like a freezer or something because I'm sure all of these foods would go off if it was actually uh, just a storage chest. Alright, so we'll drop off the coleslaw, drop off the red plate. Maybe we could eat one thing just for some energy, um, something that doesn't require coleslaw maybe? I mean that's really good too, that's really strong. I want to get something that's not going to require uh, anything that I'd rather hang on to, so... Cookies, could eat some cookies. Yeah, let's eat some cookies, just to get a little bit of energy back. Alright, so tomorrow, I think what we're going to be doing is looking into a little bit more decoration. One thing we do have already is these two box lamps. Yeah, box lamps, that's what they're called. I'm not entirely sure where I want to put those, but uh, I really like how they look, so anywhere will be fine, I think. Um, could go with the corners, could go with, could go with by the door. Um, just want the house to look nice, it's kind of unorganized at the moment, just because it's kind of small too. Um, thinking at some point it would be good to get another house upgrade, which we can afford in terms of money. Whoops, I forgot about the drum block. We can afford that in terms of money, but we can't afford it in terms of, uh, in terms of hardwood right now. Which we might be able to later on. That's one thing we could do, is do a little bit more wood chopping. In fact, I think that's a better idea than going to the mines, to be honest. So, so yeah, we'll do that. Just because we don't have much wood at the moment, we have six wood left. So, yeah, we definitely need a bit more of that. Alright, so the box lamps, I'm going to put one here. Uh, is that... Can I turn that on and off? I don't know. On there? They don't really fit in anywhere, because they're so big. Um, let's go with one over on that side, and one there. That'll do for now. Alright, so let's do a little bit of wood chopping. Could actually go down to Sinsap Forest for this, and I think I will do that just so we can go and give Krobus a gift in the sewers. As I should probably check if it's someone's birthday today. I don't think it is. No, no one's birthday today, so that's fine. Um, where is it? Wild horse radish. Right? Get one out, one of those out. Ancient fruit. We can take that over to the uh, the fruit chest. Anything else for the fruit chest? We need a fish chest too. Cheese cauliflower that can go in the cooking chest, vegetable chest. Anything else? Dish of the sea that can go in the cooking chest, and trout soup can go in the cooking chest. Cool, cool. So starting to get really get the farm organised now. I know it's like not the most exciting thing in the world, but it, it does kind of feel like a necessary step considering. Like, pretty much for the entire playthrough so far, my priority has been just to make money so that we are, um, really progressing through the game. But I think at this point, we are pretty much at the point where we are, we're getting about as much money as we realistically can be getting. Uh, anything else? Nope. Okay. 
Alright, so we'll drop off the fruits and the vegetables. Ancient fruit in there. Oops. Ancient fruit in there, and green beans in there. I actually want to just go get a little bit of corn out. Whoa, okay. I want to go get a little bit of corn out, so that I can, uh, make some more wheat seeds. Not, not corn, but wheat. I get corn and wheat mixed up all the time. Don't know why. So I'll drop those off, because we can plant those right now. We don't have to wait for the, uh, for the autumn to plant those. Although maybe we should, just so that we don't have to wait around at the start of autumn. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Point is, we're getting a few more wheat seeds. Just because we can. Drop these back off, and what we're going to do now is head down to Cindersap Forest and chop a bunch of stuff down there up while we can. We drop the maple syrup off in here. Yes, we can. As uh, oh, one of them came back as mixed seeds, so that's uh, I think that's considered a failure. But I'm not going to call it a failure. I'm going to call that success because <laughs> whatever it is, it's not going to be less valuable than, uh, than wheat seeds. So whatever, that's fine with me. Get the wheat seeds out, actually. Five of them. Um. Yeah, it's cool. We'll just, uh, we'll just drop those off in here. The other seeds. And I'm gonna go check on the coop as well, actually, while we're here, just because there's a chance that our dinosaur may have finally hatched. Nope. Still not hatched. They do take ages, the dinosaurs. Absolutely ages. Duck egg, large egg. Just a whole heap of stuff in here. See if I can budge into them a bit. That means I can like say hi to them, right? Like that. Like this. Like this. Yep. It's working well enough. Hi to you. Hi to you. One thing we could potentially do as well is get another coop. Because I've been meaning to do that for ages. And this one could be the rabbit coop. And when we get the rabbit coop, we can fill it with rabbits, which will hopefully enable us to use up some of the money that we're currently basically overflowing with, so... Yeah, I might do that tomorrow. Uh, I need to clean out some space in that case. Oops. And I've got one more duck egg, which we'll put in here. Ooh, we finally got half a heart with one of our rabbits, so that's, uh, that's a good sign. Oh, come on. <laughs> Can't get through. To regenerate. Good, 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 good. Alright, so duck mayo and large egg. These two. I thought I had one more duck egg. I guess not. Okay. Oh, I've already put it in. Okay, cool, cool. Alright, so, yeah, one of the main cool things about getting a rabbit hutch is just that we can get loads more rabbit foot, rabbit's foots, which I'm starting to think aren't even going to be that useful, because... We are really not massively far off being able to just be maxed friends with everyone in town. It's like, we're doing really well. And once you max out your friendships with someone, uh, I don't think it can get lower again after that. One like minor element of- ooh, look at that. That's pretty cool. One minor element of indecision I had about, um, about the chests I've just made is whether to have them in here just so that we can keep all of our food in the same place for the cooking. Or well, we could just, like, use this as vegetables we're planning on selling, but then that doesn't really make sense, because if we're planning on selling a vegetable, we might as well just straight up drop it in there, unless we're saving it for cakes. I don't know, it doesn't really matter. Point is, it's more organized than it ever was in the past, so can't really complain. Oh yeah, before I go chop any trees down, as I don't think we have time to go to Sinsap Forest, but before I go and chop any trees down, is this some more honey? Yes it is. What about those? Before I go and chop any more trees down, I'm going to clean out some space for another coop, which I'm going to put up up in this kind of area here. This could be a good storage area, I think I'll use it as another coop. But I guess we do need to chop down trees anyway to actually clean this area out, so... I guess we will be doing some wood chopping. Chop that up, that up, that, and that. As it's kind of hard to gather everything up without the uh, without the fruit trees. Right, we need to get that thing up. Get that thing. Let's drop the rabbit just here or something. All right, so the, for the coop location, I think we want it to be. I'm kind of considering leaving just like if you see here this one slot here. I'm thinking of leaving that free just for like a brazier. But I don't know about that. I could just push it all up. 
right against the top. And that'd be more efficient with space, and I could still put a brazier on this side, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. I don't think it really matters that much, but I'm not really sure. 12.50am, I don't think we're going to have time to do anything else. I think we're just going to be staying on the farm, so we'll set up the torch. Uh, grab some of that dark mayo, and what was the other thing I saw? Wool. We'll drop some of the wool off in the looms. So, grab the cheese, which I believe will be gold star, so we might as well just sell it. And we'll grab the duck mayo too. Nope. Alright, and we'll go and sell these. And then that should be it for the day, I think. Ooh, truffle oil. I uh, don't have time to sell that, okay. Alright, so let's uh, let's go to sleep. Okay, I think that's another new record. We're just constantly, constantly breaking our own records right now. So, 9.4k from the pale ale, about 10k from the blueberries, cloth, a nice amount, peach jelly, a nice, a nice amount, poppy honey, another 6k from that, 3k from the duck mayo, and 300 from the cheese. Cool, okay, that's really nice. Diamonds, as you can now see, are worth more than ever, because uh, we do now have the gemologist uh, perk, or profession. Which means that all of these things are worth more than they used to be, so that's another good thing. And I'm starting to think that I'm, I'm looking ahead not just to the fall, but also to, uh, to the winter. And I'm starting to think that maybe we need uh, a few more crystallariums in order to get through the winter and not just completely lose out on all our money. Because we do have the greenhouse, which is obviously going to make it a far better, far better winter than last year, but it's still kind of kind of going to be weak compared to what we were about to get used to for next year, which is going to be just crap loads of cranberries just pouring money in. Spirits are in good humour today. Okay. Well, in that case, it might be an option to, uh... Oh, greetings, young adept. I have enclosed a, in this package an item of arcane significance. Use it wisely. Okay. Use it wisely, we'll sell it. <laughs> okay. Sell off the truffle oil as, uh, this is actually really loud. I'm turning this down. <laughs> Uh, amethyst, cool. Anything else in here? I do have some Omni Geos to break open. I'm not sure about going to the Skull Caverns today. That is an option, I think. I think that is definitely an option. I actually have an attempt at catching the Scorpion Carp too. Though maybe that's best saved for a... For a day when the spirits are slightly more angry or something. Uh, right, Dish of the Sea. Is that what we want? Yeah, I want a Dish of the Sea. That scorpion carp was an absolute nightmare to try and catch, to be honest, so yeah, I definitely want that. And while we're here, we'll also make a trap bubble, we'll drop it on the iridium rod, just so we don't forget about that later on, and... Yeah, we have until 9am to do a little bit of work around here, so I'll do some of that, and I'll catch up with you guys once it's done.
Alright, so here we are at Robin's house. Uh, it's pretty late. I ended up spending a bit more time getting some wood just so that I could definitely, definitely afford the coop. As uh, before I do that, I think what I want to do is possibly buy some stuff from her and give her a peach too. Like so. Say hi to her too. And how are we doing with her? Up to 10 hearts, perfect. So that's our third 10 heart friend. Um, right, do you sell any barrel brazier? Yeah, we'll buy that. I'm really tempted to buy a plasma TV. I think I might actually do it. House plant too. Yeah, let's get let's get a couple of those. In fact, while we're here, we might as well just buy a bunch of stuff. Um, since we're going to be dropping it all off anyway, so let's go with. Oh, we can only buy one basic window a day. Okay, that's interesting. Plasma TV. As we've still got 175k, we just have so much money. I don't know what to do with it all. Little tree. Yeah, let's get a little tree. And. That's everything for that, so next I would like to construct a coop. Don't be in the way, don't be in the way. Good, 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 good. Oh, okay, I can't build there anyway. That's interesting. That's surprising. Alright, I don't know what to do with that space just behind there then. Uh, should I do it adjacent to the other coop? Um... I mean, that would look nicer in some ways than just having it there, which is kind of off. I mean, is that, is that the best place to put it? I mean, the thing is, if I put it there, then there's not going to be as much space at the front for uh, for grass to grow, for the rabbits to actually eat. Um, and if I put it there, then what am I going to do with this little back row area? I think I might actually put it adjacent. Something feels right about that, in a way, I think. That doesn't that doesn't look right. No, okay. Let's do it adjacent. Is that right? Yes it is, cool. Alright, so one above the scarecrow. And that's it. A new barn is coming, cool. Alright, so that we're gonna need to upgrade it a lot, and uh, we're gonna fill it with rabbits, which we should be able to afford quite easily since we have absolutely loads of money right now. And is that everything? Yes it is. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to head back to the farm quickly. As Oh, there's, uh, there's Abigail. We'll give her an amethyst. Are you going to... I'm actually enjoying myself this summer. Are you going to acknowledge that we're, that we're in a relationship? She just doesn't seem to acknowledge it at all. Alright, 12.40pm. Uh, yeah, we don't, we're not going to have too much time um, to do stuff over the desert. But it's not such a big deal. I mean, we didn't have to go there today, by the way. And uh, while we're here at Pierre's, I think what we might do is buy, hmm, if we have some space, I'd like to buy just a bunch more seeds before the end of the season so that we can plant them in the uh, in the greenhouse if we want to. So for now, let's go with a lot of melon seeds. Yep, and somehow that doesn't even dent the amount of money we have, which is crazy. Um, the things I want are probably going to be the kinds of things that don't need to be replant that uh, that do need to be replanted because I don't really want to have too many recurring crops in the greenhouse because that will eventually stop us from being able to plant ancient fruits and stuff like that. So ideally, we're looking at stuff like poppy seeds, although that's not too useful. Poppies, ah, we'll get a few poppy seeds. I mean, I think uh, I think they're really loved by uh, Penny, who is potentially going to be our wife, so uh, might as well. Get something that will please her, and red cabbages. Yeah, we we'll get a few more of those, and that should cover it for now, I think. And still, somehow, just have absolutely loads more money than ever. So, yeah, not much is going to put a dent on that. As I'd like to sell off these things, so that I can buy, could buy that flooring, could buy that that wallpaper. That's an interesting looking wallpaper. Is it like? Can I buy more of the, more than one of them? Yes, I can. Yeah, let's buy some of that, and uh, that'll be it. Cool. Alright, so yeah, yeah, we're not going to have an awful lot of time at the desert today. Oh, I forgot I forgot to give these people gifts. I'd like to do that. I would like to do that while I'm here. And for you. Does Abigail look a little pale? Um, no. One for you. And... Yeah, that's going to be it. So we'll head back to the farm, although before we do that, I'd like to drop by the saloon. Let's give an orange to you. And one to Gus. Mm -hmm. 
There you go. Are you much of a chef, Nori? We are now. That's uh, that's one of our new priorities. So yeah, we are. Uh, coffee. Do you want some more coffee? Yeah, we might as well buy some more coffee. We got loads. Uh, fried mushroom. We just made a bunch of that. Salad. Not too useful. Uh, could buy some. No, we don't have any room for beer. All right, so we'll leave that. Head on down to the desert fairly soon. Not going to give you Lewis a gift since we're already maxed out with him. Alright, so can't take too long about this. I think she walks away at about five, so definitely don't want to let her do that. Right, so in here we'll drop off. Uh, I'd like to drop off the acorns. Problem is, there's really not much room right now. Uh, let's drop off the seeds first. As there's no sign of Robin just yet working on the coop. Right, so drop off all the seeds in here. As oh wow, we already had loads of melon seeds. So okay. We're going to be getting a lot of melons, red cabbages, and that's everything for that. Alright, so uh, what else do we have? We have a bunch of decorative items and things. This is going to take too long, this is taking too long. I'm all, I'm so bad at like timing stuff. Alright, so the TV, I'm going to move to, I'm just going to dump it there for now. And I think I'm going to have to move this as well. Or maybe I could put the TV on the other side. Like, like this. That's so weird, I just I just heard the sound of rain in the game, and I was like, wait, the, the weather can't change in the middle of the day, how's that working? And, uh, I'm actually sat in a conservatory right now, and the sound of the rain on the conservatory is exactly, like, sounds exactly the same as the rain sound from the game, so it confused me for a moment there. Alright, wallpaper, what does this do? Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, let's get, let's do that. Let's do that. Yeah, I mean, that's cool. That works. It's not like amazing. It looks a bit weird. It kind of looks, kind of looks a bit moldy, but uh, I, I quite like it overall. I'm going to need to move these. How do I pick them up? I'm going to need to uh, pick them up with the axe, I guess. Move this one down to there. Move this one to there. And yeah, we'll put the TV up in that corner there. Watching Teller, yeah, we've already seen this. Yeah, spirits are in good humour, so that's cool. Yeah, I like that. I like having a good TV there for once. Basic window. Put that there in the middle of the bed so that we are woken up by the light in the morning. <laughs> Which is incidentally one of the only ways I like to wake up in the morning is uh, been having a light shining on me. Because I, like most people, I despise being woken up by an alarm. Uh, house plant. Put one there, and these are way smaller than I thought, to be honest, they're kind of lame. Uh, we'll put one... ...just there for now. Alright, and it's now 3.50pm, do we have any other stuff that we don't need? Yes, we do, I didn't actually drop everything off that I needed to drop off, so I'll take this singing stone, drop that off here. And finally we have a little tree, which we already had, great. Okay, so we got double little tree. Let's just put this one up there. No, can't do it. Up there? Okay, fine, fine. And now we have to be really, really quick. As I can see, there's one more ancient fruit down there that I didn't pick up, but I don't have time for that now. Is uh, ooh, I didn't bring a gift for Sandy. Should have bought- oh, there's a sweet pea down there. Don't walk away, don't you dare walk away from that bus stop or I'll be so angry. Sweet pea. Alright, let's go. Wait, do I have bait? Yes, I have bait. I have bait. Of course I have bait. Alright, so let's hope we can catch a scorpion carp. Uh, I don't know if I want to spend too long trying to do that. But maybe just the first few hours of the afternoon. Alright, so here we are. We'll run down here. Drop off a sweet pea with Sandy and see what she's selling as well, since we have so much money right now. You look parched, do I? Uh, have a... Hmm, beet seeds, that could be useful for next season, but I probably won't have space. Actually, we might as well buy them just in case we don't end up coming back here. Let's just buy a bunch of those. And somehow we still, still just not put a dent on our finances, it's crazy. Would you like a sweet pea? Cool.
Alright, so let's attempt to do a little bit of fishing. This is what we brought the dish of the sea for. I still don't know if this is the uh, if this is actually where you're meant to fish for scorpion carps or not, but it's pretty much the only place where I know it's absolutely guaranteed you can find them. So I'm gonna try there for now. All right, so I'll, uh, I'll speed this up until we catch something, and uh, then I'll unpause it, and we'll see how it goes. I think this is it. I think the trap bobber and the extra, the extra fishing bar from the Dish of the Sea, it's making a massive difference here because this, uh, this was, this would have been really hard otherwise. I can tell. There we go, scorpion carp. We got one. Sweet. It's like a regular carp but with a sharp stinger. Minus 125 energy. Okay, so it's like a super powerful puffer fish. I apologize if you can hear the rain. By the way, it's just, like super loud since I am in the conservatory. Uh, all right, let's check the fishing collection just to see what's left. There we go, scorpion carp. Alright, so that's the lava eel, the ice pip, the stonefish, and finally the... I think that's the walleye. So, that stuff we could probably get pretty soon. The walleye will be sometime in the fall. And yeah, we're like really, really close. We've nearly completed every fish in the game, which is a weird thought. Uh, the artifacts and the cooking stuff, on the other hand, is going to take a lot longer. So is that, potentially. But I think particularly the artifacts, I mean minerals you can just buy a shitload of Omni Geodes and you're bound to get them all eventually, right? But with uh, with artifacts and cooking it's a lot more difficult. Like getting the recipes in the first place is hard. There's probably a chance that we've missed some of them uh, from the Queen of Source. Which means uh, we're going to have to wait for potentially an indefinite length of time for them to just pop back up again. Let's get another scorpion carp. Just so we have one back at the farm. I always like to have more than one of every fish. So we might as well catch these until it kind of reaches that point of the night where uh, they kind of stop appearing. Which I think is around 8pm. If I remember right from last time. I think it's around 8pm. I hate when they go to the bottom. This is really tough. This has got to be one of the toughest fish in the game. It's just extremely difficult. There we go. Alright, so we got a little bit longer. Alright, so I'll catch up with you guys once I'm done doing this. Alright, so it's 8pm, and uh, right on cue we're just getting soggy newspaper and stuff like that, so... I think we're done with the fishing for now. <clears throat> I also have a rusty cog, which I definitely don't need. I had one of those before. It's pretty useless. Um, so earlier on I made a crab pot, and the reason I did that is because I want to see what you get when you put a crab pot in uh, in the desert. Which is apparently not a possibility. Damn it. Okay, so we got a useless crab pot in our inventory. That sucks. Alright, so let's try and get what we can done, he <coughs> done here while we have the time. 8.40pm. Uh, I should have probably brought my spicy eel with me. That would have been pretty useful. But if nothing else, we can drink some coffee. Uh, we will throw away the rusty cook. Move this stuff out of the way. Actually, we'll keep that. We'll eat it. We'll eat it now. I also have like nine bombs back at the farm, which I also should have brought with me, but I uh, I didn't really think this through. So, whatever. Doesn't really matter. Alright, let's go. Alright, so what am I saving up Iridium for at the moment? I'm thinking... Watering can? A really watering can would be really cool. Ask uh, through these guys. We do now have the uh, the level 10 combat profession. It should help us kill things a little bit quicker. I mean, that didn't take too long. Yeah, I mean, that could work. Got pickaxe. Uh, let's avoid this guy. I'm not sure what that noise was. What was that noise? Oh, is, is it the mummies? I've never noticed them making a noise before, but okay. Uh, 
Alright, so we just need to smash all this stuff up. I'm hoping we can come away with at least one more iridium bar. Which could be used for... Slime Hutch, which might not be the best idea when it's just about to become the Autumn. Uh, or... Apart from that, we could also go with... Oh, crap. Apart from that, we could also go with... We could just save them up, I guess. Or we could go with the Crystallarium. Or, yeah, we could just save them up for the Iridium Watering Can, which I'm pretty sure is going to be the next Iridium tool I go for. Although an Iridium Pickaxe would be pretty useful for this place. Ultimately, though, I, th I feel like it's kind of low priority. It's, uh... It's kind of like, if you get an Iridium Pickaxe early on, then it's kind of like you're getting a... You're spending Iridium so that you can make Iridium marginally, marginally more conveniently. And it's just, to me, that's not really as convenient. Uh, let's get out of the way of these guys. Still can't find the way down. 10.20pm, this is not looking good. This isn't looking like a successful trip. That thing does a crap load of damage. Ah, uh, crap, what can I eat? I'm not going to eat the sandfish, that's completely pointless. Uh, I could eat the oranges. I mean, that's not going to help that much. Guess I'll eat the roots platter. Since we did just buy a bunch of poppy seeds, so... Main reason to hang on to the roots platter is just so that we have a gift for uh, for Penny, but... We can just give her poppies if we really want to increase our friendship with her quickly. Alright. Wow, this is, uh, this is really poor. <laughs> I'm hoping we can find like a hole or something. Holes are I like the holes a lot more than I like the uh, the ladders, just because they do increase your chances of getting iridium when you drop a long way. As uh, I could actually take the purple mushroom, that would be a much easier way to get some energy back in the future. I wish I had my bombs. This could be our worst trip yet at this rate. Uh, there we go. We really need some quick iridium. Uh, there we no, that's aquamarine. Damn it. Alright, we'll get the Aquamarine anyway, just because, you know, it's worth 30% more now, so that's cool. Uh, should we look for... yeah, let's look for artifacts. I think there are actually some artifacts that you can only get in the Skull Caverns, so... It is actually worth doing that. So what we'll do is... we'll eat the Purple Mushroom. I mean, we're probably not going to be coming away with much Iridium at all, but uh, if we could find an artifact, that would be pretty cool. For this, it would be better to have an Iridium hoe, but this is, you know, this is the next best thing, so... Oops. So we'll just keep doing it like that now. Cave carrot. Alright, this is not going to go too well. Ah, man. I hate to be coming away from the desert without any Iridium. It's, uh, it's not fun. But if we did want to find uh, some Iridium right now, we'd have to go look for the, uh, for the stairs, which is probably not going to work out. If we could at least find one artifact, that would be cool. Uh, it's starting to look unlikely, though. Okay, uh, this is not great. I think that bug just blocked the hoe. How, how's that supposed to work? I have no idea. 12.50. Alright, well, we at least got the scorpion carp, so, um, that's, that's a minor success. Let's try one more. And I think that's all we can do for now. Okay, that's a shame. Uh, we could always come back here with like an Iridium hoe, and uh, that will probably be a better way to artifact hunt. I don't think artifact hunting is particularly necessary right now, so that's probably the wrong decision ultimately, but... You know, that's life. Got a cactus fruit. And hopefully we'll have just enough time to get back. the horse here. Yeah, the horse is just there, so that's fine. Probably not going to have time to... no, definitely don't have time for, uh, for any pale ale. And I don't think I have time to drop anything off either, so just going to have to run into the house. And there we go, we fall asleep. As, uh, it looks... it almost looks cosy. It almost looks cosy now. Alright, so farming, 14k coming in there. Okay, that's, uh, that's fine. 
130 from the fire course. That's actually worth less than I thought. Yeah, 14k coming in, all in all. And it's now the 28th of summer, which is the day of the Dance of the Moonlight Jellies. So uh, I probably will go to that with uh, with Abigail, just so we can enjoy at least one one piece of good times with her. And apart from that, we're going to be getting ready for the fall, which is, uh, I think, going to be just absolutely crazy in the amount of money we're making. I really like this house now. I really do. It looks super cozy. It's really nice. Just take a little run outside, see what's there. Um, not too much in the way of crops, so it looks like we won't be having a, a rich final day, but can't really complain. We do have 174k. Queen of Sauce, what are you offering us? Roasted hazelnuts, we already knew that. You just told us that. Fortune Teller, oh, we can actually see what's going on on the TV now. The spirits are very displeased today. Okay, so definitely not going back to the desert. Alright, so that's pretty much everything for now. I still don't know where... Oh, she's... Robin's not come to do the coop because it's the Dance of the Moonlight Jelly today. That's super lazy because the Dance of the Moonlight Jellies doesn't start till after she ends her shift anyway. But whatever, <laughs> okay. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and uh, next time we will be yeah, preparing for the fall, it'll be good, and I'll see you then.